Hello, in this video, I'm going to be benchmarking Infamous on the RPC S3 emulator on the ROG Ally X console. So first of all, we're going to set some custom settings to get the best performance. So you want to right click your game, so you want a custom configuration. So you can do create custom configuration. I recommend doing it from default settings unless there's some, you know, set, you know, specific settings that you set up that you want to carry over. Or do I do from default? And once it pops up in S, I mean, CPU configuration, you want to go to SPU X float accuracy and set that to accurate right there. And in GPU configuration, you want to set Z call accuracy down call accuracy. You want to set that to relaxed. You want to set the resolution scale threshold to 256 by 256, so right here. I find it can be a little hard to get precisely what you want. So recommend having an auto mode, the control right there, click this, and then you can use the left and right key to get the precise figure that you need. So 256, there we go. And now we want to enable multi-threaded RSX. And this improves performance a little bit. We want to improve async or enable asynchronous texture streaming and that can improve performance as well so in advanced configuration we want to change the sleeper sleep timers accuracy uh, where is it where am i looking to as host we want to change the rsx fifo accuracy to atomic and that is yeah, and there's not much else that we actually want to, you know, tweak here so we can just save this out. So click apply, save configuration, and we can check out any patches they have as well. So manage game patches. And so we have to do, 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 like all powers unlock, change. So in reality, we can leave all of these as they are. So we can save these. So I want to make sure for my gamepad, yeah, it's selecting my gamepad. Sometimes it doesn't automatically. Now let's launch the game up. And when the game is launched or when you're ready to play, you want to put this in gamepad mode. Otherwise, if you have in game, don't have it in gamepad mode, you'll be trying to trigger the keyboard, and yeah, that won't work properly. So you, again, that's a little tip. I'm using an Xbox controller, so my hands aren't getting in the way, but that's the case whether you're using these controllers or an external controller as well. Whilst this log, this is a great time to let you know I'm releasing a Patreon page very soon and we have all the cool emulation content that we all have on YouTube, all the cool setup stuff, the extra stuff, and they'll be launching very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. Let's make this go full screen. So I am running this in turbo mode. At the end of the video, I'll play a few minutes using it connected, so it goes to the 30 watt mode as well with it connected. It's looking good and it's running well so far.
So in reality, this is running at above 30 frames a second, and that is better than how it ran when it first came out. I'm gonna get zapped. Man, I remember playing this game so much when I was at college. Infamous 2 came out when I was at university. This was one of my favorite games at, you know, at the time. It's so great to be able to play this and now in portable mode as well. You know, at this performance level, this is pretty much on par with what I remember it being like, and maybe slightly better even. Now we're about to get on our powers. I'm going to change the control, they're inverted, which I do not like. Okay.
Okay, I'm going to connect the cable now and see what the performance is like using direct power as well. And you'll notice this goes up to 30 watts mode, the turbo does. I think there seems to be a bit of a boost, seems a bit smoother. <laughs> That's how I feel. Weeks ago to eat. Sound of the Batman one. <laughs> Check out some explosions. Okay, so let's check. So that's running at what 45 to 50 frames now. So if I just disconnect the power, yeah, the notes will drop down. Still very playable, still smooth, but. Definitely a difference. Okay, so that's it for this benchmark of Infamous on the RPCS3 emulator on ROG Ally X. Let me know what other games you would like to see next for PS3 emulated on this. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye.